We are back with another DoorDash trying to fuck me over, put you up on game. So, since the new contract that DoorDash has enacted was basically they're trying to prevent us from coming after them from any of the, 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 the heinous bullshit that they do. Like the randomly kicking you from dashes, the constantly offering you bullshit orders with tips, the fact that they basically want you to do double to triple miles and then when you say no, you can't, like if you can say no repeatedly, you get kicked from dash. A lot of this shit is genuinely probably illegal. But since there's no way for anybody to genuinely say anything, they get away with it. Uh, dashers need to genuinely work together. Like if like if DoorDash people or delivery people in general work together, we could get some changes. It might take a little while, but you see, like changes happen. Like when people, delivery drivers from fucking Amazon, they was getting hosed over in the beginning. They're slowly getting this shit changed to the better for them. That's the reason why they don't want DoorDashers to stack up and push a class action suit against them like the 25 million that they're dealing with in california they don't want that so basically if we could get everybody to just stop being stupid and, and, and just do what we do the shit that is obviously going to get us paid and treated better we'd be doing better off because as you see from my area like i can tell you how doordash works for me my area one there won't be spots when your uh weather first starts to go to shit like it's been snowing i went outside to put salt down for my car so i wouldn't be stuck here if i do want to go make some deliveries etc so the first thing you notice is you should try to prepare yourself to try to repair your car if you got better tires winter go put them bitches on go jack your car up stick them bitches on put your car back down leave that shit blah 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 yak 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 if you got good tires and you like if you want to actually do this shit you're gonna need tires you're gonna need to know how to control your car you're going to need to be smart about this shit. Because there's a lot of stuff that they like to do. Like, first is the peak pay. They try to offer people peak pay. Like, they offer, like, I remember when it was actually snowing cats and dogs. They were offering 5 to $6 to get you out there in that shit. And it would basically just basically trap you. Like, you know, you go outside in that shit, you're going to get stuck. Unless you got some, unless you actually prepare for that shit. And a lot of the people that would see, oh, they offer five, six dollars an order. That's a technically a, a second order. It's almost double pay, but then you got to think about it. It's snowing hard. All of your orders take longer now. Getting to and from the place takes longer. So is it genuinely worth it? That extra five, six dollars? No. I can prove that because I'm the kind of person... Or like last week, when the snow was like, it was actually bullshitting. Like, I didn't want to go out there in that shit. So, as you can see, every day, I would take one dash, the weather was shit. And when the weather was shit, I would ask myself, is it worth continuing? Is it worth not continuing? So Monday, I got a few dashes in. Tuesday, I got less dashes in. Wednesday, I got a more dashes in thursday was a hell no nah, i went outside friday was a hell no nah, i went outside didn't like it saturday was a hell no nah, went outside didn't like it so the only two days out of that out of the snowstorm i'm sorry i'm starting to feel a little sick nauseous it's another reason why i don't always go outside i have my own issues that i have to face that i face and or deal with being abnormal is not always as cool as it sounds like people think oh you look fucking cool you look like a monster all this extra shit but didn't realize i have my own issues my own issues that are appended, independent and most other humans do not have like you know y'all food make me sick straight up and human people food human food the shit that they say we're supposed to eat most of that shit makes me sick if you don't know who dr sabi is look into that shit he was telling the truth. The rest of these motherfuckers is lying. I am living proof of this shit. Like, y'all food makes me sick. I have to infuse y'all food with specific shit in order to be able to eat it. Otherwise, I just get sick, vomited, the fuck back up, etc. It was easier for me when I was younger, but now, no. Eh, and the easiest way to get rid of feeling sick 
etc. Blah 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 blah. You guessed it. Tiger Bomb. I have two. This is a normal one that I'm working on. Like I basically, I use it till it gets down to about half. Then I infuse it. I have infusion stuff where this is sea moss. Smells a little funky, but it's sea moss gel. Smells a little funky. Smells like sea moss. <laughs> I didn't even realize the smell would actually come back, but I'm gonna bind that with my oil and create a new uh, topical. This is my infused one that's almost gone that I used to basically I put apply it to my stomach and midsection area and it will completely stop or halt some of the pain, some of the irritation, some of the nausea, and then this smell, like you, you, you do double. But yeah, that's how you get rid of nausea. I don't know why I even mentioned throwing that shit in there. But yeah. So Monday was okay to try and dash. I felt like that was a half day's work. Tuesday, I didn't really feel like it was worth it, so I went the fuck back inside. Wednesday half day's work whereas you fifty dollars or more i stopped working a hundred dollars a day because why because it's usually not worth it they start to try to get over on you the new system really tries to butt fuck you etc so wednesday half day thursday it was probably shit weather wasn't worth it went the fuck back inside friday shit weather wasn't worth it door that's being stupid the days that you see that i only make like anywhere from under $20, it's usually I go outside, look, I feel like it don't work. But yesterday, I didn't feel like it was worth or, or Saturday, I didn't feel like it was worth it. Why? Because they've been doing stupid. Like, they've been doing stupid shit all weekend. So Saturday, Sunday, and Monday typically weren't worth it. I tried to go outside a little bit yesterday, but what did I get for yesterday? Fourteen seventy-five. One order, 16 minutes. But you do see that I was dashing a full six hours. That's another thing. They treat us like we all live in California, like we all get paid for uh, dash time. We don't. We don't get paid for active time. We don't get paid for dash time. The only time we get paid for is what we act, whatever effort we actually put in. That's the only thing we get paid for. We don't get any of the extras, any of the write-offs, any of that, like... People in California, they can say, okay, I was supposed to make, uh, we'll see, I was supposed to make $800 this week, but since it's been shit ass weather, snow, and blah, 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 yak, 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 I only made 15 bucks. DoorDash would then come in and back them up. They won't do that for anyone else. And that's the reason why they have the whole uh, ability to kick you from Dash's shit. You know, like you, you'll fall asleep or something, you'll notice your phone's been, you've been kicked completely from the Dash. And if you made any money, just show the money you had on you made from whatever you did, and that's it. And you'll be out of the dash, and you'll be like, oh, wait, what the fuck? I can't dash him? Yeah, they can do some a lot of intrusive shit, and that's why they they came up with a new contract to stop them from getting sued, because a lot of the stuff that they do is, again, illegal, intrusive, and a bunch of nonsense. So, yeah. And what else I want to say? Cherry pick. Cherry pick. Don't be afraid to cherry pick. You see, as we see, they're offering a full spot. They're offering a full fucking spot for my area. Why? Because, or the area that I'm in right now. Because the weather's getting shit. Like, I went outside this morning to check. And the weather has been getting shit. Like, what do you see? We are getting hammered. Like, at first, it wasn't supposed to snow. Like, the weather said for this week, we weren't supposed to get no snow. It's supposed to go up to 40 today, tomorrow, and Thursday. But now it says it's snowing today. It's going to go up to 40 tomorrow, Wednesday, and then it's going to be snowing Friday. Which, like, all, we got 40s on the horizon. We even almost hit 50. But it's like the weather is just straight up playing games and shit. And DoorDash is like, oh, well, we're going to try and use this to our advantage. And it's like, when you, our weather gets bad, the whole map turns red. And then they slowly start trying to lure you to come outside. The whole map will turn red. Then they'll start throwing dollars on that shit. Don't fall for it. 
Like if you like if I was you, I would go outside, I would walk, I would start up my car, and I would sit there and I would ask myself, okay, what I'm gonna do? Go out, take a quick look around on the roads. If 97% of the roads ain't free, if it's coming down shittily and heavily, it's just a abandon shit. Because nine times out of ten, most of the deliveries that you get are not gonna be worth it. You got uh, you got customers that don't tip. They are now sneaking in the uh, customers that don't tip with these stacked orders. They now don't even show you the total anymore. Like, I got a 30 from PetSmart. It just said go to PetSmart. And it showed me how much money it already made, and that's it. It don't show you none of the order. Like, it tries to hide that shit from you now. They're trying to prevent people from going in and using their completion rate. To get out of your shit orders. The, the 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 scheme is that you go in and you see like let's see you see a a Walmart for like 30, 40, 50 dollars. You go in and you figure out which orders are the ones that are actually paying with tips and you take those. And then the ones that you see with no tips, like I'm gonna find my 30 and I'm gonna show you where I got basically hosed. You see, I took a pet smart. It was one order that day, and that was one of the days that I felt like that they had basically robbed me to get me to take these fucking deliveries. And you see these tips, pet smart, three dollar tip at the bottom. And then you see the second order, pet smart, no tip. You see that shit, no tip. Then you scroll up the next one, $5 tip, wasn't worth it. Like, none of the orders on the 30 were worth it. And it was a snowy shit day. So my car's sliding all around, and I'm just out there like, all right. And then, you see, it took an hour and 14 minutes of active time to pull that off. When you see that normally, like, when the weather ain't stupid shit, You, <coughs> you see that one delivery takes about what? 15, 16 minutes tops. That's to go get the shit, pick it up, drop it the fuck off. So you need to count that 14. If you get what? You get 415s in an hour. So you need to do that basically at 470, 1475 times four. And then you realize how much you actually fucked out on when you take the... Uh, when you take that 30 that's compounded and it's going to take five fucking years. So, I got paid $30 when I should have got paid somewhere in the realm of $59. See, that's how they be trying to fuck you over. They are constantly trying to fuck us over. They, have, they do not care about us. They don't care about our cars, our ratings, none of that. You see my 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 uh my acceptance rate? They shot me up to almost 30% while the snowstorm was hitting. I was just declining shit. I didn't go outside in that shit, but my rate was going up and I'm just now back to fucking 1%. Cherry pick all that shit. Learn from everybody's mistakes. Like a lot of the shit on Reddit don't don't fall for. It. I get that they're cookie cutter just don't take the order just don't take the order just don't take the order don't make it it's the whole choose between being broke as fuck and just sitting there looking stupid don't listen to reddit take what you can and then try to figure out a way to work with the shit and if it don't work for you then cancel out of it but make sure that you have enough completion rate to actually do so you want to stay above 89 percent so if you know that you about to go below 80 or you're really close to 80 89 percent stop Taking orders that potentially cause you to have to risk this shit. You're risking being fired when you get too low. Don't do it. Me, I only, I only really decline or I only really uh, will sacrifice my completion rate if I'm at least 93% or higher. If I'm not 93% or higher, I'm just going to straight up not take the order. Why? Because it's not worth the effort. And a lot of these stacked orders that cause you to have to do all this extra work for very minimum pay, it's not worth it. This is why that if we got actual drivers to band together and say, hell no, we won't go to Top Dasher, they would be forced to change everything because they're going to start losing hella money 
and then they're gonna start having hella angry customers. They prey on new people and top dashes that are fucking stupid. That's why they offer you money to refer your friends because they know that you're you like you ain't talking to everybody and you ain't gonna always be there to make sure that they ain't doing stupid shit and letting DoorDash get over them. That's what DoorDash's motive is. The map stays fucking red when your weather goes to shit. Like, you close and you open it, eventually, they're going to start offering more money to try to get people out there in that shit. I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm not with it. Like, when it starts snowing hard, shitly, I'm not going out there for y'all because I already know that these customers don't appreciate it. Man, I took that, that, uh, that, that, that quad delivery. Not one of those customers appreciated that shit. Not one thank you. Not one happy face. Not one rating that I didn't beg for. That's another thing. Reddit says, don't ask for five-star ratings. If you do, we're just going to give you one star anyway. But it's like, it's counterproductive. It's like, if you don't remind these fuckers that, hey, you might want to rate this nigga if he did something good for you, they won't by default. I'm, I'm like, and my rating, is my uh, actual delivery count is wrong. I know I've done over 25, 20 deliveries. I know I'm at like 26, 2700. But it is what it is. You got to base your shit off of them. And again, write off everything you can. Write it off. If you get a, uh, if you get a, if you get any sort of inconvenience for your car, that's not a genuine like thing that they say they can't write, like you can't write off. Like, let's say you gotta wash your car for the job because of X Y Z. Write that shit off. It is directly influenced your job. One hundred percent of that is going toward your job. Let me explain. Like me, I'm a brown person. You need to you need to look the part to be in specific areas. Otherwise, you will get messed with. We've seen this countlessly on YouTube, countlessly all over the fucking place. Whereas a brown person in a shitty vehicle that's doing their job, that's delivering some shit, and then some other person sees them and they call the police on them or give them some sort of random inconvenience where they fuck with them. That's why I keep my car clean. I wash my shit. People are much nicer to me when they see that I'm not driving a piece of shit bucket. Their food is actually in something decent and secure. Their food is kept warm, etc. You get people to respond to you better. That's where you get a lot of shit that actually goes well for you to go. Because there are a ton of customers that don't care about you and they just want that free meal. It's a pandemic and a lot of these people are broke and they just want that free meal. That's why so many orders are not tipping. So you got to know how to protect yourself. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Don't let them get over on you. And that's all I got to say. Like, I'm done. But yeah, I'm not going out in that shit. Straight up, but I don't care if it's very busy or what. They offer them free fucking spots. Why? Because they realize that the weather is not going to let people just walk out. And, like, everybody's not going to be delivering. Like, eventually, people are going to get forced to choose. Or do, do you have to get your car good enough to be out in this shit? It's not good enough to be out in this shit. A lot of people who live in my building, a car is not good enough to be out in that shit. Like, most of the people in the parking lot are getting stuck. I have learned to not get stuck by salting, taking the right paths out of the building know how they aren't going to shovel specific spots and if you go over there you're just going to get caught stuck etc as a delivery person you have so much shit that you have to pay attention to it's absolutely stupid and then they underpay us for all that we have to do remember and or deal with fuck you doordash i'm gonna say that shit again fuck you doordash i don't want to hear about no oh we got a chance to we got a chance to good weather no we don't but yeah, that's it for me. If the weather's on proof, I ain't going out in that shit. DoorDash, you either offer some more money or you you figure out a better way because I ain't I ain't taking this shit. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go work for somebody else. Like I'm gonna go be a, uh I'm gonna go be a uh, a Lyft driver. I'm gonna actually drive people around. Shit, make some friends. Do something better than this DoorDash shit because I don't like the way that this shit is set up. Like they don't like customers don't care. They basically want to fuck us over. DoorDash don't care. They basically want to fuck us over. I need to find something where people actually give a fuck for the service that you're providing them. And I'm out.